is Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a smooth zoom in transition in Vegas Pro 15. Now just like with my zoom out transition, I'm going to be showing you two different ways how to do this effect. One which will be using the paid plugin, Sapphire Plugins, and another which will be showing you how to do it using the Panacrop, which is a built-in feature in Vegas Pro 15. So here we are in Vegas Pro 15, and just like I showed you with the spin transition, I'm going to be showing you multiple ways how to create the zoom transition in Vegas Pro 15. Now for this, I'm going to be showing you one with a plugin, and the plugin is Sapphire Plugins, which is not free. And another way I'm going to be showing you is how to do it with built-in features with Vegas Pro. So as you can see on screen, I have two clips side by side, and this is exactly what you need to do as well. So the first way I'm going to be showing you is with the plugin, and I'm going to head over to video effects, and what we're going to be looking for is S underscore blur mo curves. So it's right here. And from here, all we're going to do is drag and drop this onto our first video clip. Now, once you drag and drop it on, you can see this is what you'll get. The first things you're going to be doing where it says wrap X and wrap Y, you're going to change this from no to reflect. What we're going to be adjusting is the Z dist. Now, what we will do is animate it. So we're going to select the clock next to it and we're going to come across all the way to the end and we're going to lay down a keyframe. Then we're going to go back depending how quickly or how slowly we want this effect to happen. Now for me, I'm going to go back four frames because I think that's going to be really good. So I've picked four and all I'm going to do is lay down another keyframe. So for this, I'm going to leave it by default at one. Then for the end keyframe, you'll notice it goes off screen to the next video. So a trick here, drag it back by one, then select it. As you can see, we can now see our video. Now what we're going to be doing is changing this to 0.1, select enter, as you can see this is the effect we get, then we can drag this off to the end. From here we can X out of it and you're going to drag on the default onto the clip next. So the same thing again for wrap X and wrap Y, we're going to change them both to reflect and then we're going to toggle the animation on Z dist. Now instead of going to the end we're going to be focusing on the first keyframes here. So this first keyframe is going to stay at default, what it is, and then we're going to come forward five, uh, four frames, or whatever the amount you picked last time. So I'm picking four, then this part is completely optional. Now with the zoom in transition you do have to be prepared to sacrifice some of your footage because it will be cropped out. So what I do recommend is go as low as possible, um, and the lowest I'd probably recommend is 0.9. You can see it is just that little bit of a difference and that will create the zoom transition for you. So from there, believe it or not, we are completed. So I can X out of this and I'll play this through for you. And as you can see, it will simply zoom in like that. Really simple. And you can see it looks really sharp. So now I'm going to be showing you how to do the zoom in transition without plugins. So what we're going to be doing is coming to the center. And all we're going to do is select the left clip and come back four or five frames. Now for this, I'm going to go back five frames. So that's going to bring me to 14. I'm going to press S on my keyboard. I'm then going to come back to the center, but select my right clip this time. And I'm going to come forward five frames and press S on my keyboard yet again. And then these two clips right here is where we'll be working with. So we're going to come to the pattern crop. And then what we're going to do, we're going to come across to the end frame what you want to have is a size about center, lock aspect ratio, and, and if you have enabled snapping checked, it's completely optional, I wouldn't have it. And then you also want to have sync cursor highlighted. Then come to a corner and simply zoom it in. Now I'm going to go as much as I can. Then I'm going to X out of this. We're going to come to the pan and crop on the next clip. Then uh, similar steps, I'm going to come to the end, but this time we're only going to zoom in a little bit. So again, we will crop out some of our video. So everything that is on the outside of this box will be cropped out. So make sure you are aware of that. Now, what you also want to do is right click this keyframe and select copy. So this is your end keyframe. Then with the duration of that same clip, you want to come back to the pan and crop and you want to right click that first keyframe and paste that keyframe in. And just like that, this is now completed. So I'll play this through for you. 
And just like that, it is that simple. So just like that. So I'll play it through again. And you can see that was very quick reason being, I only picked five frames. And on this part right here, I zoomed in quite a lot. So you'll see if I change the amount I zoomed in, it'll make it look a bit slower. So playing it through again, you can see that's how it'll look. So that's how you can adjust it. Feel free to be super creative. I'm just showing you the way that I think is best. And that looks pretty nice. Now there's one more thing I'm going to show you how to make this look a little bit better. And this is using a plugin built in with Vegas. So again, heading over to video effects, this time we're going to be looking for something known as radial blur. As you can see, it's right here. So radial blur, then where it says default, we're going to drag and drop this onto the first clip. Once again, we are going to animate the strength and just the strength. We're going to come across to the end and put the strength all the way up. That simple. We're then going to add on the default to the second clip. This time, the strength is going to start all the way up. We're going to come to the animate button, come to the end and turn that all the way down. I'm going to X out of it. I'll play it through. As you can see, just like that, it creates a super nice transition. Now, you'll notice this little box thing that's coming up here. If you want to get rid of that, that's just simply you need to turn the strength down. So I'll turn it down to about 0.7. Same for the next clip as well, 0.7. And now play it through. That's what we get. And you can see that looks pretty nice as well. Uh, there's not much difference with this and the plugin version, but of course the plugin version is a lot quicker. But that's it for this tutorial, hopefully it has been useful for you, and as always, if you would like to request a tutorial, then just feel free to leave it in the comments below or ask me on my social media.